Do you have a vertical video and want to integrate into your 16x9 timeline? Or maybe you have a 16x9 clip but want to make it ultra wide or add some creativity to it. Let's see how to do it in Resolve. Okay, let's go through this tutorial. I've got two clips here. One is a vertical video, so uh, one that you maybe have shot with portrait. The other one's a full a widescreen uh, video. And I'm going to show you how to use this new blanking feature in DaVinci Resolve 15.2 uh, so that you can either upload it into Instagram or Snapchat, or if you just want to integrate it into your normal video timeline uh, that you're producing here in Resolve. All right, so you, you want to select the, uh, the clip that you have, go into Effects Library, and then drag the blanking fill on it. As you'll notice here in the inspector, it shows the OpenFX, uh, the plugin here. Now, for most um, cases, the default settings are probably okay. So if I play this, I've got it without the audio, of course. You can see what happens even when I zoom in. Uh, it does also show that effect on the blurred out section on the side of the uh, video, which is pretty good, actually. Now, I'm going to go through some of these other settings as I talk through the uh, the normal wide 16 by 9 uh, video. Now for this one we're going to go ahead and drag it on here. You're going to notice the first thing is nothing changed and that's because it's already filling out uh, the entire screen. So what we're going to do now is get a little creative. So uh, what I want to do is click here on the source and I'm going to actually crop it on the side. So I can actually make it a vertical video. All right. And the next thing I'm going to do is play around with some of the edges so I can make it so that the edges are a little uh, softer, as you can see. And then I can also change the blurring in the background so I can make it uh, heavier or a little lighter. In this case, I'm just going to make it uh, a little heavier. Okay. And then the fade amount just shows how uh, much it fades to the color that you select here. In that case, I'm just going to leave it at default. Okay. And you also have the setting here for drop shadow, which uh, does some effects around the, the edges, which don't typically look very good. So I'm not going to mess with that. Uh, but I'm going to leave this here. I'm also going to go here back to the source. And let's see if I wanted to put this like a little square inside of the uh, blurred background. And let's just see how that looks. So you can really get creative in here based on what your need is or what your output needs to be. So that's all there is to this video. Um, if you have any questions, please leave those in the comments below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next tutorial. Peace.